Are you sure it's in recording? Good sick. Good sick. Good damn. Good damn. Sick. Good sick. Yes. Good stand, yay, yes. Sit. Good sit, yes. Down. Good down, yes. Stand. Good stand, good boy. Down. Good down. Yes, sir. It's a good boy. Stand. Good stand. Good stand. Yeah. You big my fingers. You feel it all? Oh, I know. Good then. Sit. Good sit. Alright, this is the first time we're gonna do watch me. Watch me? Good watch me! Good watch me? Good watch me? Good watch me! Watch me? Watch me? Good watch me! Watch me? Watch me. Down. Good down. Yeah. Good sit. Good sit. Very good sit. You ready? Wait up. Good down. Good down. Good. Watch me. Good watch me. Yes. That's the first time we did that. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. Yeah, you can get that one out of drop. So thank you. Here. Here. Go. 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 Sit. Good sit. Down. Good boy. Watch me. Watch me! Yay! What a good boy! That was so good! You're picking up on that one fast. Sit. Good sit. Hey, down.
went well? Yeah, it went really well. Wait mm -hmm. to see it later. Yay! Good training session. Now, Duds is, or Dudley is uh, 13 weeks. He was 13 weeks on Wednesday. And today it's Thursday, so he was 13 weeks yesterday. If you hear something right here, this is, <laughs> that's our cat hiding behind this curtain. We put that there so that she would feel more comfortable being in here with the dog so that they can get used to each other's scent. Um, Dudley has had no formal training except for just what I've learned on the internet. Um, we were wanting to get him formal training because um, we want to train him to be my service dog. We have gotten to a point to where I either need to have a living caregiver so that my husband can actually leave and go to work um, or I need a service dog, one or the other. And I need a mobility service dog, which is why we got a purebred lab. He should end up being somewhere around 80 to 100 pounds. Those paws uh, of his, I'm guessing he's going to be closer to uh, 100 pounds. My husband thinks 80, but I don't know. He's going to be he's going to be a big boy. So um, mostly. Uh, this channel is going to be about um, what service dogs are, what they're used for, different kinds of service dogs. Hopefully, maybe we can even do some collaborations with other service dog handlers when uh, Dudley gets a little older and he has more training. Um, so, yeah, that was Dudley's first on camera. Um, training session, I guess you could say. He has only been working on the sit down and stay, or, or the sit, sit down and stand. He's only been working on those for two knots in a row now. This is the third knot he's been working on that. So he's picking up on it exponentially faster than what we thought. And, um, he's just doing amazing. So, I'm so super excited about the adventures we're going to have together. And, um, I'm really thankful to bring you guys with us on this journey to training him. We may or may not, uh, get the formal training that we had intended on in the beginning because it's so expensive. It's right around $3,000 or more, um, but it's over the course of about two or three years. So it's really difficult for us because right now we're battling to get my, um, my social security benefits. So it's been a really tough road. I've been homebound for about six years and um, if you'd like to know a little bit more information, you can go to our GoFundMe, which is uh, GoFundMe.com slash Dudley the Service Dog, I think it is. Let me make sure. Let me stop. <laughs> you want to play. Um, so yeah, uh, our GoFundMe is Dudley, or GoFundMe slash Dudley the service dog and you can help us with trying to get him some formal training or training with an actual center. It would be ideal at this point I absolutely have to have a service dog so whether I have to spend hours upon hours upon hours every single day doing lots of education for myself on how to train Dudley you know um, it's got to happen some way or another he has to be trained whether it's by me or by someone else and I don't know if I mentioned I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome which is why I need a service dog um, 
I also have POTS, which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, um, which can cause me to have really low blood pressure and faint. Um, um, anyways, Dudley and Brian, my husband, are back, so I'm going to end this vlog or this training session number one here and I look forward to you guys coming on our journey with us and seeing how Dudley does um, whether it be every day or every week and see how he does with his training so thank you so much for watching we really do appreciate anyone who can support us on our GoFundMe and um, we'll see you again next time thank you so much for watching and um, thanks so much for supporting us. Bye.